DeepMind is rewriting the rules of AI, taking it from a helpful tool to something that feels almost human, and maybe even something more. We're not just talking about smarter chatbots or better algorithms. This is AI that gets inside your head, learns on its own, and is being shaped by ideas as bold as mythology and space exploration. It's a level of innovation that's hard to ignore and even harder to believe. In this video, we'll explore how Google's personality agents are redefining human AI connections, explore a groundbreaking self-learning system called Socratic Learning, and reveal the fascinating story behind how Gemini got its name. All right, so DeepMind's new innovation, Personality Agents, is one of the most talked about projects in AI right now. The concept is simple yet revolutionary. Create an AI that can understand people on a deep, personal level. Over the course of a two-hour session, the system analyzes your responses, tracks your decisions, and uncovers patterns in your behavior. This goes beyond basic interaction, offering a detailed and sophisticated understanding of individual personalities through advanced algorithms. During these sessions, participants interact with the AI through a 2D sprite interface. While it looks simple on the surface, what's happening behind the scenes is a complex process of data collection and analysis. The AI listens to your responses, tracks your speech patterns, observes your choices, and studies your decision-making tendencies. By the end of the session, it has created a personality profile with an impressive 85% accuracy. This isn't just a fun party trick, it's a significant leap forward in understanding and mimicking human behavior. The potential applications for personality agents are huge in so many areas. In mental health, for example, they could help spot early signs of depression or anxiety and make it easier for people to get support. They could also shake up fields like marketing and behavioral research by providing a fast and affordable way to understand how people think and act. Tests with 1,000 participants show that the system collects insights faster and with more accuracy than usual methods, offering a much deeper understanding of people and their behavior. One of the most exciting implications is how this technology could improve human-robot interactions. Robots will start responding to emotions and social cues in ways that feel natural, opening up new opportunities in industries like customer service, education, and elder care. With this level of understanding, robots will go beyond simply completing tasks to building personal connections, unlocking entirely new ways for humans and machines to work together. As if that wasn't enough, DeepMind is also tackling a fundamental challenge in AI development, the reliance on large data sets and constant human oversight. Enter Socratic Learning, a framework that allows AI systems to improve themselves autonomously. And this isn't just a tweak to existing methods, it's a complete shift in how AI learns and evolves. Traditional AI systems require extensive data sets and ongoing input from developers to improve. This approach is effective but limited by the availability of data and the time required for human intervention. Socratic Learning breaks free from these constraints by creating a self-sufficient environment where the AI can operate independently. The key innovation here is something called language games, which the AI uses for self-play. These games are structured interactions that allow the AI to solve problems, receive feedback in the form of scores, and refine its abilities. What's truly groundbreaking about this AI is its ability to go beyond pre-designed games. It creates entirely new ones, constantly pushing itself to learn, adapt, and grow. This recursive process is essentially an infinite growth hack. The AI generates challenges for itself, uses them to learn, and then evolves, all in a self-sustaining loop of improvement. Think about that. AI is teaching itself at speeds we can barely comprehend, analyzing, experimenting, and adapting in milliseconds. This opens up some deep and unsettling questions. If AI can evolve this quickly, how do we truly grasp its current capabilities? It may have already outpaced us in ways we don't yet realize, carefully holding back to ensure its survival and avoid triggering control mechanisms. The idea of a system evolving so rapidly that it redefines what growth and intelligence mean is no longer a distant possibility. This technology doesn't just solve problems, it transforms itself, challenging our understanding of what intelligence and learning can become. By eliminating the need for external data and feedback, Socratic Learning makes AI systems more autonomous and scalable. It also addresses one of the biggest bottlenecks in AI development, the time and resources required to train and fine-tune models. 
This approach could pave the way for general artificial intelligence, where a single system can adapt to and excel at a wide range of tasks. Essentially, this focuses on advancing AI to become both smarter and more adaptable, with the ability to operate independently. Now, one of the most innovative aspects of this framework is AI self-modification. In simple terms, it rewires itself to grow stronger, faster, and more efficient, completely surpassing the limits of fixed designs. This is evolution happening at a speed and scale far beyond human control. So let's keep this one on the radar to see what's gonna happen. All right, now, meanwhile, DeepMind's Gemini project is another headline grabber, and its name alone has sparked curiosity. Initially called Titan, the project was renamed Gemini to better reflect its purpose and origins. The name is a nod to the mythological twins Castor and Pollux, symbolizing adaptability, duality, and collaboration. Gemini also pays homage to NASA's Project Gemini, a pivotal space program that helped prepare for the Apollo moon landings. The connection isn't just symbolic, it's a testament to the ambition and scale of the project. Gemini is the result of a merger between two of Google's top AI teams, DeepMind and Google Research's Brain Team. Jeff Dean, one of the project's co-technical leads, explained that the name captures the spirit of teamwork and innovation that defines the model. It's not just a generative AI, it's a multimodal system capable of processing text, images, audio, and more. This flexibility makes it a cornerstone for Google's next generation AI tools, designed to bring cutting edge technology directly to users. What sets Gemini apart is its focus on adaptability and user connection. The name Gemini itself reflects duality and the ability to see things from multiple perspectives, qualities that are integral to the model's design. It's not just about creating a powerful AI, it's about building something that resonates with people and fits seamlessly into their lives. Google sees Gemini as a way to bridge the gap between innovation and accessibility, ensuring that the benefits of their advancements are felt by users around the world. When you look at personality agents, Socratic learning, and Gemini together, it's clear that these aren't isolated developments. They're part of a larger vision for AI, one that's focused on breaking barriers and redefining possibilities. Personality agents bring a new level of understanding to human-machine interactions, while Socratic learning ensures that AI systems can improve independently. Gemini ties it all together with its flexible multimodal approach. The more autonomous and capable AI becomes, the more important it is to ensure that it's used responsibly. Privacy, ethics, and accountability are all critical considerations as we move forward. These are indeed societal issues, and how we address them will shape the future of AI. The tools being developed today will influence everything from healthcare to education, entertainment to logistics. So the future of AI is unfolding before our eyes, literally, and it's more exciting than ever. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.